Good evening, YouTube. Great to see ya. So this one gets a bit crazy, so hold on to your seats, grip your phone a bit tighter because we're gonna be in for a bit of a wild adventure, quarantine style. So, last night, in bed, happily sleeping and had a beautiful dream about me climbing a mountain, getting to the summit and thinking, yes, I'm on top of the world, climb the mountain. And then I woke up and remembered it's quarantine and we're confined to these four walls for the next however long. And I was a bit sad, and I remained a bit sad through most of the day, until dun dun dun, I realised that I was going to climb a mountain still. How, you may ask, am I going to climb a mountain when we're not allowed outside? Well, I gotcha. I found this post a while ago, and I'll try and put it on the screen, of a guy who calculated the amount of steps it would take to climb a mountain in the UK and he calculated all different mountains and Mount Snowdon was on the list and that is just up the road well up the road being about four hours north then I thought I wanted to climb that mountain in the summer so I decided to leave Snowdon off the list and the next one on the list was Ben Nevis and that's in Scotland and I've been to Scotland a few times and I've eyed the mountain up and thought hmm that would be an interesting one gets a bit snowy can ski there a bit so I settled on it Ben Nevis it will be where am I gonna hike Ben Nevis in the house and when you may ask tomorrow literally tomorrow not even 24 hours from now <laughs> so my plan is to clear the stairs I think there's about six flights of stairs I'll confirm that tomorrow and walk the amount of steps it takes to hike Ben Nevis and I think it's around 7,000 that's what I hear I hear the report was an incorrect report in fact it was 8,810 steps I still got to work out how many times up and down that will be and I think because obviously the down steps will be easier than the up steps I'll count them as half steps because if I don't count them at all it's a bit inaccurate because obviously hiking a mountain you don't just go directly up you go up and then skirt round and then up and then you maybe need to come down a little I just want to quickly add I actually didn't end up counting any of the down steps or any of the flat landing steps even though there obviously were a lot of them because all the calculations I found were just for steps up so I thought it would be somewhat unfair for me to count all the other steps too and to make it even more authentic I might even camp out overnight I'm hoping to do all these steps in the day if I don't I'll hike until dark and then I'll camp and then I'll wake up at the crack of dawn and finish the hike. I'm gonna hike a mountain tomorrow and I'm gonna take you along with me and I hope you enjoy. That evening I set about tidying the very messy stairs in preparation. <laughs> Couldn't help but gaze out the window at the sea. Whoa. It's so glassy. Magical. And after propping the door open with a very fitting item it was then time to hoover. I then counted the steps I took to get to the top and did some sort of internet wizardry to find out how many times I would have to go upstairs. I made my lunch for the next day while Zach played the tin whistle terribly and stroked my food and hopped into bed. Zach? Yeah, back then? Shall I climb Everest instead? Maybe next week. I didn't really give any final numbers yesterday, but as I took the landings out, it ended up being 43 steps. I divided 8,810 by 43, which gave me 204.8, which I rounded to 205, so that's how many times I've got to go up. Hello, good morning. I am so excited for the day. It's the day of the hike. I've got my boots on, I've got my pack ready, and raring to go. I've had a coffee, even more raring to go than I was before. And I just thought I'd let you know what was in my my pack for the day. So this is the Low Alpine Air Zone 35 Centro pack in case you're wondering. And inside we have a Nalgene water bottle. Hold on. This is a rain jacket. We definitely don't need that today. Head torch. And as you might know, I'm camping tonight. So gotta look out for the Swansea bears in the dark. Spare pair of shorts. Lunch. Some seats. An apple. Some headphones. It may get a bit repetitive, so I'm gonna want some music. And I forgot to add an extra pair of socks. We don't want any any blisters now. I think we're good to go for supplies and I'll catch it on the route. I also just want to add that I'm going to be using Strava as my app, but I also I'm going to download a pedometer. Maybe. Okay, they've all got really good reviews. I guess it's not hard for an app to be a pedometer. I think we're going to get this one. They went up and the bag went on. And so it begins. One down, two and four to go. After 50 steps, I took my first break. I have gone 2.7 kilometers 
but obviously it's just been up. All right, the time is now 10 past 11 and it's time to carry on and do 50 more steps before lunch. I got 60, then 70, and I'm fully aware you know what me climbing stairs looks like now, so I'll just show you the time I forgot to leave the pen. Honestly, that's how exciting it became. It became so hot, but the steps kept going up. Spot. Just after halfway at 105 times up, I stopped for lunch, ate my very mediocre bagel, took my shoes off, which felt great, and admired the, uh, the views. At 1pm, with a newfound energy, I continued on. I just got to 150. It's getting a lot harder. I'm getting a lot slower. I need a break though. I'm not going to go outside. I need some fresh air. The irony of doing a hike without fresh air gets me, but after a Red Bull that exploded over me and a piece of cake, I felt a little better. Right guys, it is currently 2.30. Time to do the last bit. Definitely hit a wall. Let's do this. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Keep it up. <laughs> And with the support from my housemates, despite my sore and very lactic filled muscles, I kept going. This is 200. I had five more to do, and after a small self pep talk, I finished. <laughs> the cheer of my housemates, which made my day. Finished. 3.49, going since 9.30. Crazy. Mum? <laughs> guess what I just did? Okay. Have you hurt yourself? No. I hiked Ben Nevis in the house. Well done. I was happy I finished, but my head was absolutely pounding. I don't think I drank nearly enough water. But in true hike fashion, I couldn't sit around feeling sorry for myself and had to put the tent up, which arguably was very easy as it was a hot one. I'm not putting the roof on the tent tonight, so hopefully it doesn't rain. Time is quarter past nine, finished playing the game. The others are still playing. I'm pretty tired, so I'm gonna get to sleep quite soon. I'm gonna read my book for a bit. Hopefully wait for the stars to come out and hit the hay and I will see you probably really early tomorrow when the sun comes up. Good morning. Time is currently 6.53am. I thought it would be really sunny but no, it's bad. It's a little bit. It took till 3 to get to sleep because so many creepy things happen and I'm literally on a 1.2 mm thick mat and after doing the hike, like my hips, my knees, my butt, everything hurt and it seemed to amplify it, just rolling about on the hard floor. Camping in a city actually is quite different and if you're in like a rural area, you're never worried about people breaking into your tent. Anyway, so I'm gonna... I think call this the end of the video. The challenge was fun, hard, harder than I thought, but fun. And I feel really quite proud of myself for it. I didn't yesterday, but oh, I've just gone upstairs 410 times. Also just occurred to me that I'm so grateful that I can just spend a day hiking a mountain in my house and, and that I'm in utter awe of the people on the front line while I'm in my house and, and doing things with much smaller feet. But very grateful for them. I think they're all incredible. And stay safe. Wash your hands. Don't invite people into your tent. <laughs> I think that's pretty much it for me. See you guys. <laughs>